Today I wish my and all of the other great fathers out there a happy Father's Day, and I also want to give you a brief update about this YouTube channel. Digging deeper, first I have on my site a schedule of video adaptations of our articles. You should notice that I plan to continue having my usual new video for the first Tuesdays of each month on my channel, and for the last week of the month, I will instead of posting a new video on my channel, be making a video exclusively for Armchair History TV. I have already made three videos for that site that you can watch by signing up with a membership. A special guest from a YouTube channel named Hipstorian appears in one of my already published videos on Armchair History TV, as well as in two forthcoming ones. Second, I have also been making some guest appearances on another YouTube channel named The Study of Antiquity and the Middle Ages. I first appeared in a video called Were the Nazis Socialists? Historians Debunk and Explain, and next appeared in one about the Confederate Lost Cause myth. Third, I will additionally be appearing in an upcoming video about ancient history currently planned for July 2nd on yet another YouTube channel called useful charts, as well as in some videos about European witch hunt history, likely later this year on a channel called Veritas et Caritas. Fourth, speaking of the supernatural, I am hoping to go on a paranormal investigation sometime in the hopefully not too distant future with Brian and Sean from Our Paranormal Podcast. They also appear in videos on the RU Media Network and Your Paranormal YouTube channels. Fifth is not part of any official collaboration, but I want to share with you that I had ordered and received a deck of Pillars of Strength Wisdom cards from the website Unique Interpretations, as I found these cards to be encouraging motivators. My personal mantra card, fittingly enough, reads that I pay attention to detail. I strongly encourage you to subscribe to the various websites, podcasts, and YouTube channels mentioned in today's video if you are interested in learning more about history and also the paranormal. I will include relevant links to them in this video's description. Finally, I once again want to say thank you to all of the fantastic fathers out there for what they do for all of us. As a question for my students and subscribers, what is your favorite thing that your father ever did for you? Also, do you have any fun plans for Father's Day? Please let us know in the comment section below this video. Here are some possible answers to these questions. Good day all, Hipstorian here. To answer today's question about my favorite thing that my father ever did for me, I would have to dig into a long history of memories to try and pick something out. Like how my earliest memory of him was how he would take me for a ride in his patrol car whenever he came home from work as a police officer. That was really one of those moments, however simple the gesture was, that made me connect to my father as a person. And that basically sums up my favorite thing that he did for me just overall, just being there and supporting me in everyday life. Despite having a lot on his plate, and a lot happening in both his life and those around him, everything he did was always in one way or another in service of supporting his family and kids for as long as I can remember. And that, I think, is what the essence of fatherhood is all about. The willingness of one to devote his life to that of another that he holds dear, perhaps more than anything else. and. Personally, I couldn't think of a better gift. As for plans on Father's Day, we normally tend to keep things rather sober, which means that this time around I'm going to give him a heartfelt message and a big long hug, because I know how awkward that makes him feel as the serious old man that I know him as. It's sort of the reverse dad bringing kid to school and making them feel awkward sort of thing that you see in movies sometimes. Because uh, payback is sweet, and we've learned to appreciate the simpler things after a rather arduous last year. So uh, with that, I would say that be you father or son, treasure those closest to you, and don't take them for granted, because... Uh, You'll never know what you'll miss after the fact. So, uh, 
a happy Father's Day to you all, and uh, take good care of each other. Indisputably the most memorable act my father ever did for me, and absolutely my favourite, was buying my brother and I a personal computer. This was way back in 1981, when a home computer was still a luxury. Ours was a Commodore VIC-20, an incredibly popular and quite groundbreaking product for its time, though of course quite pitiful today. This gift had a huge impact on my personal life and ultimately my career. I taught myself to touch type, learned various programming languages, and became drawn into the IT industry. I can trace my Master of Information Management and Systems degree years later, all the way back to the moment when I opened that box. If you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated. Mm -hmm.